Hi everyone, this is Deborah, and in this video I'm going to show you how to find and bring onto your ribbon the developer tab, which is what you need to have if you want to place things like drop-down lists and combo boxes and check boxes into your Word document. Okay, on my screen I have a blank Word page, and at the top in my ribbon area I have the home ribbon showing right now. Okay, if you come up here and look across at the tabs that are showing, um, there is no tab called Developer. So to find it and bring it out onto the ribbon, first you have to click the File tab to go to the Backstage view of your Word document. When you do that, you're going to go to the bottom left corner and select Options. Once you have the Word Options dialog box up here on the screen, you're going to look in the menu on the left-hand side, and you're going to select Customize Ribbon. On this page, you have two panels. One on the left-hand side is showing you popular commands, things that most people like to use in Word. On the main tabs, okay, if you look here, you have all tabs, main tabs, or tool tabs. The default setting right now is main tabs. And also notice here it says customize the ribbon. And over here it says choose commands. So your commands are on the left and the ribbon choices that are displayed are on the right. Anything you see that has a uh, check mark in it is already displayed in your Word page. And so I have all of this. I have home, I have, you know, outlining, insert, all of that. And as I scroll this up and down, I can see all the rest of the tabs that typically show when I open Word. And you will also see there is a developer tab that doesn't have a check mark in it. Frankly, I'm not sure why Word decided to leave that out of the default setting. Maybe because a lot of people don't use it but um, more and more people are using it. So anyway, all you do is you come here and you click a check mark into the checkbox next to developer and then click OK in the lower right corner. And now you can see that the developer tab is displayed and showing here on the ribbon. I'm still looking at the home ribbon right now, the home tab I should say. And if I want to know what's on the developer tab, what it has to offer, I just click on that tab and of course it displays everything for the developer tab. You've got macro tools over here. You've got any add-ins you may have added in on your own. You've got the controls group, which is where you go if you want to insert things like drop-down lists, check boxes, that type of thing into your interactive Word document. And you have XML mapping. You also have restrict editing, which is important if you're creating forms for people to fill in online. You need to restrict the editing when you're done with the form so no one can change it. And you have document templates. So that's how you bring the developer tab onto your Word page.